Good news for people who are tired of some reality television, at least one of the longer running uh, shows, and that would be American Idol. American Idol is set to shut down. After oh this no! Mm-hmm. Shucks, he said sarcastically. Fifteen long seasons later, it finally comes to an end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I wish I, I I'm not, and I know we've talked about this off, uh, you know, off the record, but you know, you're not a big American Idol guy. I'm not a big American Idol guy, so I mean, I quite frankly, I don't really care. I mean, I, I think that American Idol. I think the only reason it exists is because people know that, like, like, and this is kind of getting, this is actually going along with what we're talking about with the internet and with technology and stuff like that. Uh, we're probably not going to have another Beatles. We're not going, we're probably not going to have another Nirvana. It's all niche and it's all the right. pie is, is divvied up more and more because you can put your content out there on the internet with a click of a button. So the music industry has changed drastically. And in some ways, it, it's a lot better because, you know, there's a little bit of something for everybody. There's not this one size fits all anymore. You can kind of find what you're into. Uh, in other ways, it's not, uh, you know, there, there's some kind of, it's harder to sift through stuff, right? There's so much coming at you. It's really hard to find music you may or may not be into. So oh. the, there's, there's two sides. But American Idol kind of attempted to make this fabricated, homogenized, uh, overproduced thing and put in front of people to try to get that mass appeal, which has kind of just been lost in the shuffle, and you can't recreate that through a TV show. And, and I think it speaks to the whole reality TV in general is going to be a trend. It's lasted longer than I thought it would, but it's going to go down as just a trend, and it's going to end on on some VH1-esque talk show someday. I thought you were going to talk about you know people being on American Idol because of our worship of celebrity. Well, that's part of I, I was thought, that's I thought part you were going to head that uh, angle. So since you're not, I will. People want their 15 minutes. Sure. People are going to do everything they can for, for celebrity. And so that's – first, that was the appeal of Amer- shows like American Idol and The Voice, etc. right? But after 15 seasons of this and admittedly some hilarious uh, people that were on there once before, like that guy that got an album – for singing uh, She Bangs, like, really, really bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you remember that guy. I remember that guy. I forget his she name. Bangs, yeah, she Bangs. I, I do remember. Yeah. 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 That, that, was, that, was, that was hilarious, but the luster has wore off. In fact, what they're doing, uh, why they're shutting it down is because they have, they have lost so many viewers. People are just sick of it now. Uh, their numbers... Their numbers are just being crushed. Uh, well, I think part of it too is the voice is a little bit more. Uh, I don't. I don't want to say creative because I don't think there's really much creativity in any of those shows. But but the voice, you know, at, at least you have there, there's like a little bit more of a concept to it where they have like the teams or however it works, and you know that that one CeeLo has that cool cat. You want to see if they're going to turn their chair around. You know, American Idol it doesn't really have that the same way. So so I think it's like you know. If you're going to have, you know, this sort of insipid competition show, the one that at least has a little bit of a hook is, is going to eventually over tackle the other one. So I think that's part of it, too. Sure. Or because the reality be... TV trend is not over yet. Unfortunately, no. Un- <laughs> well, I like, agree with no, you. Words cannot put the disdain that I have for reality TV. And I'm sorry for, for those of you watching who... You know, that's your guilty pleasure. Okay, you have your guilty pleasure. I don't really care. But for me, it is horrific. And I don't understand why anybody would want to watch reality when the easiest way to watch reality is to look out your window. And besides, another note is that most reality TV isn't even reality TV. It's just as heavily scripted. Yeah. And that's the well, irritating I mean- factor. Yeah, I agree with you 90% of the time, although I gotta say, if, if we're, if we're being honest here, my, my full disclaimer, being open, uh, a guilty pleasure of mine is Gordon Ramsay. But that's Fair because enough. I enjoy to cook, I enjoy to cook, and, and, and that's why, I, and I think he's a fun character. Is that show reality? No, it, it's probably completely fake, but I, I do enjoy some of that stuff. That's the only exception in it for me. I enjoy the memes that come out of it, um, that are posted. <laughs> 
See, there you go. There, there are some. There, there is some, some, some positive in everything, I guess. Right. 